let's check out the Steam Deck Stealth Grip from Satisfy. So you might know Satisfy from this, the Zen Grip Pro for the Nintendo Switch, which is the most ergonomic grip for your Nintendo Switch on the market today. But they finally released or will be releasing the Stealth Grip. So I've had this for a little while now, maybe like a week, and I don't think it's out yet. I think it's still on pre-order for release sometime this month. And I'm so hyped because I love the Satisfy Pro for the Switch so much that this, this has got to be great, right? So let's check it out. So the box is here. I've got the like special edition or whatever it is. So this comes with everything. So they do two models. You've got this one and I'll show you what you get inside the box in a minute, but you can see it on the screen now, or you can just get the grip itself. So let's push this aside. And here we go. This is the collector's tin. Now you probably saw from the box, mine's a little bit battered. <laughs> I had to import these from America, so Satisfy kindly sent these over to me, so thank you, Satisfy. But obviously, all thoughts my own, this is not a paid video. But anyway, it got sent to me, and yeah, the, the, the collector's tin here is a, a bit battered, and the actual main box was a bit battered, but well, there we go. Inside the tin, we get the actual thing itself. We get a couple of little baggies of stuff, or three baggies actually, and then we also get this, which is a glass screen protector. But I'm sure this is good, it's a screen protector. You get it with it. Oh, and you get this with both editions as well. Then we get these. So we get some rise pads, I love these. We also get some like back grip things. And then we get these, which are super important. These are the rise rubbers which without these, you can't actually use the rise pads. So yeah, but anyway, this is the actual grip itself. So it's a big old chunky grip. You've seen this design before most likely, right? Where you have this like top case thing, which you just like flip over. And this is a real hard shell case that kind of clips over. So this whole thing is kind of like, instead of having a case, there's no case that they make for this. And I can pretty much guarantee this isn't gonna fit in any other case either because it's pretty huge. Now you can see just how much the joysticks like standoff is. And that is to accommodate the absolutely massive rise pads, which again is a great thing. I would definitely say if you're gonna get this, just get the bundle, which is only maybe like $15 more or something. And you're gonna get all this extra stuff, right? So this is really nice. It's rock hard. There is no like, rubber or anything on the front to protect the screen. But to be honest, if you're using a screen protector, then you probably don't need it anyway. And it's really easy to install. I'll just show you it now. So you've got these two sort of notches on the top of the grip itself and on the bottom. So all you do is you just kind of hook it over the top, push down, done. That is it. Now we get the actual grip, the main event, right? Everything else is just like add-ons. This is what we're here for. And this is what it looks like. I have to say, I'm always, always impressed with Satisfy's quality and just like the designs of them. They always look nice, but they're always really decent quality because they're clearly actual gamers that are trying to make a difference and think about what needs to be adjusted rather than just, oh, let's just put out some random rubber thing to like make some money, right? So I do really appreciate that. Now, of course, Satisfy's main thing is ergonomics. If I get this, this thing here is perfect for the Switch. I've got videos dedicated to the Switch on this, but they fully sorted out the Nintendo Switch's ergonomics. And that's what they're trying to accomplish with this. So if I just get the Steam Deck just here, yes, mine is a bit of a Frankenstein, but you know, it's a nice design. And in comparison to the Switch, it's way more ergonomic. I don't have a problem with this at all. You know, like I actually find it really comfortable. However, if you've got larger hands, I only got like medium sized hands, right? this might not be big enough. So what they've done is they've big boyed it. Look at the size of that. So we've got some huge girth right there, you know, like that is some big, big, big grip. And I didn't really think the ergonomics could get that much better on the Steam Deck, but I was wrong. You've got vent cut out. You've got the back paddle cut outs. You've also got the micro SD cot, cot? slot cut out as well. And then on the top, we've got cutouts for the triggers, the bumpers, and then everything else as well, which I really like because some companies put like fake buttons over stuff. And I hate that. I really don't like that. I don't want to press a button to press my button. Like, no, there is still a slight bit of an issue with it. And I'll get to that in a minute. But the actual feel of the thing, you know, this is really nice. It's got like a really sturdy back plate. And then this stuff, 
like I can't, I can't just explain it. Like you might be able to see it on the camera. It's got like tiny, 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 they call it like diamond etching or something. And, and to be honest, it feels lush. Like the grip on this thing is so nice. Like it actually has like a scratch. It's almost like grip tape. It's so finely etched in there. It's just got really nice grip. And then it's also doubled up with these like glossy like bits just here. And you know, it's it's not going anywhere. Once this is in your hands, it is not going anywhere. And it really does feel nice. It's all about this, baby. This is where it's at. You know, that's the main shebang. But anyway, enough talking, Andy. Let's get the Steam Deck in it, right? So what we're going to do is just kind of slide the bottom in like so. So you get these like horny bits, you know, the horny Steam Deck in there. And what you're going to have to do is like carefully try and lift these over, right? And then you're going to kind of like jam it on. Now you'll see here it's still getting stuck on the bumpers and you really have to kind of lift it over. It's a little bit of a pain but I mean once you've got this on there's not actually any need for you to take this off. The first time I installed this and this is where I was saying I had a little bit of an issue. To be honest I'm not having that issue right now but the first time I installed this when I first got it out of the pack I couldn't get it to seat properly over the bumpers here so I really had to like shimmy it over and kind of like overextend it over the button because it was actually holding my bumper down now that could just be user error so i am just going to take like a bit of a hit there and say possibly user error but you know i want to state that it was in the way and honestly like when you're using it it's just a little bit like i can feel that raised edge just here now i know it would make it less secure or less like durable but i would have really liked it if this bit just wasn't there you know so if if it started here and went around and then stopped there now i know that would make it more flimsy but i would prefer that because i can just feel the edges of this now you get used to it and it's not a massive problem but it's something i wanted to state you know this is not an issue with that Skull & Co one that I reviewed previously, which I, I love that grip as well, because it, it completely does what I've just said. My Steam Deck's obviously got a skin on it, right? And my skin actually stops from the back plate that I've changed because it's all purple, yeah? And you can see on here that the skin gets like rumpled up a little bit. So yeah, that's a me, me problem. That's probably not gonna happen to you, right? It's all perfectly cut out. You can see the cutouts are really good for here. You, you've got this like, beveled in edges on each of these cutouts which feel really nice and mean you, that you can actually get to the buttons so it's not impeding like usage in any way it gives it a little bit more heft i mean the steam deck weighs as much as a small child anyway right but this is a little bit more heavy so if you already struggle with the weight that might be something to consider. Now you can see here that this all aligns perfectly. It feels like a second skin. You know, they, they should have called it the steam skin or something like that because it, it really does feel like it was designed like this. You know, if you shut your eyes and got given a steam deck for the first time and this was on, you would just think this was how the steam deck was designed. Now, yes, it is dock compatible and I'm guessing that's what this chin is for, right? So all the steam deck docks and third party docks, I don't have any in the studio with me today. They're elsewhere and they do fit you know i've tried it it fits it fits with the official one it fits with the jsox ones that i've used yeah you've got these little notches here let's just put this on again for you so now we've got this on what you do is you just like hook it round and then push it down like so and now that's in so you can see it's like lugged in just there and it fits perfectly and now you know you're safe to throw this in your bag or whatever i'm still a little bit skeptical because i don't want to damage my back paddles or the vent here so i'd still be cautious with it i personally prefer having a case it's just me but i do really like this and to be honest with how good this is i'm gonna have to just kind of put up with not having a case and whilst we're talking about cases yeah obviously this does not fit the official steam deck case which is a little bit sad because like i said that skull and co one does this is a game changer it really is just look at the size of that like it adds so much to that that makes it so ergonomic and again like i said they're all about ergonomics right and this this is perfect I, there's not a single thing i would change in terms of how my hands sit on the steam deck i find the steam deck perfectly ergonomic anyway purely because of the layout like it just wins this is the best handheld experience i've ever had in terms of like fit and feel and comfort you know it just your thumbs rest naturally and then they've just kicked it up a notch 
with these bits here, which, you know, it just feels amazing. But let's check out the other stuff. So let's check out these things, which are for the back paddles, you know? So you can see it's got a big old hefty wedge on there. And what you're gonna do is essentially, I'm guessing the other way around. Yeah, like that. You're gonna seat them on there like that. Now I'm not gonna do this, but they feel nice. You know, it's gonna add, it's gonna raise them up. So it's gonna be easier for you to use. Now I personally don't have a problem with my fingers resting on that putting these on there like this is going to just raise them up that bit more and then you can get to them even easier if you so wish now let's check out the rise pads i live and die by these now these are the best grips for you know your joystick like protection things and extenders whatever you want to call them uh for the joysticks essentially what these do is they raise the stick height which gives you even more movement so they're more accurate essentially but they've also got these stunning like texture on them and they are super grippy and you can see there's like a, a beveled edge on the side so that your thumb rests like naturally on it it just they just win they really really do now these are actually the Xbox ones, which fit the Steam Deck. Now, originally, before they'd even released these or told me they were making them, I've got all of the Rise Pads for every controller, and I went through and I was just mashing them all on the Steam Deck, because I was like, I want them for the Steam Deck! Now, unfortunately, I did that before these came out, which is the Rise Pad rubbers, and you can see on my Hall Effect uh, sticks, I've kind of, like, mashed the side off. Uh, because they weren't meant to be designed for this, right? So I've kind of damaged the stick, only like uh, aesthetically, but I've kind of damaged my sticks, my Hall Effect sticks there, because I didn't have these on. And when I put the Xbox ones on that, without these, they just span around anyway, so you wouldn't really, you know, they wouldn't really work. So what you need to do is, obviously these only come with this special edition pack, but I'm sure you'll be able to buy these separately, but you need to put the rubbers on for protection, right? So always use rubbers. And, <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna kind of like stretch them over. So now we've got them on for your protection and your pleasure. You can pop these on, you just literally stick them on the top just like that and kind of give them a wiggle. And then, yeah, there's there's more resistance there. I recommend angling these to the side, right? So this kind of notch bit is facing like that way. And then this notch is facing that way so that when you rest your hands on it, they fit perfectly. Now, I also recommend that you use the like double stack one on the right side for your aiming stick because that's gonna give you even more like movement and way more precise aiming so now we're in ratchet and clank just here and you can see like just how much more movement you've got on this stick and how good it is to aim so it just gives you like way more precision because you can actually move like small movements easily because the stick is extended and it makes it such a joy to play like anything it really does obviously they do stick out quite a bit and i would say if you've got tiny hands you're probably not going to be able to use them because it does stretch your thumbs up. So that's why I recommend having these notches down so that they fit perfectly. That's what they're designed for. But for medium sized hands and above, then these are a pleasure to use. You know, like I, I use these on every single console, on the PlayStation, on the Xbox, on the Nintendo Switch, on anything that they fit on. I use these rise pads. I just love them. Now they, <laughs> I love this product, right? I really, really do. But there's one thing I wish they'd done. One thing, and I think I was spoiled by that Skull & Co one. And that's a built-in stand because that Skull & Co grip, right? You can see the video, I'll link it at the end. It's The way it's designed is so that it can stand up by itself without you needing to do anything. You just pop it down, you don't need a dock, you don't need that. You just sit the thing down and it stands up. Unfortunately with this, it does not. You know, like you, you could, probably rest it like nah it's too back heavy you know it won't even stand up and that's because of this chinny bit just there because it sticks out it just rolls it backwards now i wish i wish that it just had a stand like inside it because i pretty much only play handheld on the steam deck i don't like laying it down you know it takes up so much room like this and often i don't have much space so i need to just be able to put it like this which takes up like way less room than that. Do you know what I mean? And I would just love to be able to put it down and have it there. And I like looking at the Steam Deck. I want to see it up on my desk. Do you know what I mean? I want it stood up. But yeah, unfortunately, that's not a thing. So that's 
that's something I wish it had. And that makes me a little bit sad because then I have to go back to using those stupid plastic like fake docks where it just stands it up. Meh. Okay, satisfy. I love you. This is amazing. This product is brilliant. It really, really is. And I'm always honest, but there's just that kind of gripe there that there's no built-in stand, which I feel like they could have done by just having this be flat or like the same level of this or something. Like, you know, just for it to stand up. That's all I want. And the other thing is this, like I said, I just wish this bit wasn't here so that I had like unimpeded like access to these bumpers because I feel like that's just in the way a little bit. And then lastly, I, I know I'm coming up with so many cons, but some people won't like the fact that it won't fit in a case. You know, like I'm one of them really. I prefer using a case. And again, that Skull & Co one can fit in the Steam Deck case. Now, I would say this is the better grip. Like ergonomically, feel, everything else, this is the better grip, especially with the rise pads, which you are absolutely gonna need this to fit over, you know? So I'll just quickly show you that now. That fits with the rise pads on absolutely fine, whereas nothing else would because those rise pads are huge. But yeah, I mean, this is the better grip, but the other one's just got a few features that I like more. So, yeah. Now, price-wise, at full price, I think they've got like a special pre-order offer on at the minute on the website, so I'm disregarding that. I'm just gonna go by what it says was full price. You can get the grip by itself for $50, right? Or you can get the kit that I've got, which comes with all the accessories, for $75. So, for the premium quality that you're getting here, honestly, I, I would have no problems buying that myself. I would opt for the $25 more to get the cover on the front because like I said, you're not going to be able to use a case with this. So unless you're all right constantly like taking it in and out, you're going to need this. Now the downside here is satisfy, sort your UK shipping out like, <laughs> or like provide them to Amazon, you know, like let people buy this off Amazon because if I wanted to buy this myself here in the UK, it's like $40 to ship it and then I've still got to pay import tax. So then it's like another $50, $60 just for shipping. And now you're into like hundreds of dollars. It's just not viable here in the UK. And that's why a lot of people want satisfied grips, especially for the, for the Switch, and end up paying well over the odds for them purely just for shipping and import tax. But I just feel like the UK market's getting left out. And I feel like you'd probably make a lot more sales if you had a better shipping policy or like just gave them to Amazon so people could buy them from there. So there we have it. That is the Stealth Grip from Satisfy. I absolutely love it. I really, really do. There's just a couple of those things I didn't like. I wish it had a built-in stand. I wish this bit wasn't impeded. You know, there's, there's just a couple of things. But other than that, if you can look past them or if those don't bother you at all, this is excellent. It really, really is so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments and whilst you're here go and check out mine and aj's podcast over here where we talk about all things gaming across all consoles and everything else you don't want to miss that this is a brilliant show i love it i love doing the podcast with aj and then down here go and check out my skull and co video for their grip for the steam deck which is one i've been referencing throughout this whole video anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time bye